Good afternoon. So my name is Dr. Noho Foyeku and this is one of our products which is um, a mixture of alkaloids that was produced from Enantia chlorantha which is um, a popular um, traditional African plant. So I am going to walk you through how we made this. Now this is these are alkaloids isolated from that plant and we use this product or rather this we use this this is the raw um, ingredient for one of our products which is a toner that is used for acne prone skin okay so it is the, the protoberberine alkaloids from Enantia chlorantha which we extracted into a base and we use this to formulate the toner so come along with me while i show you how we did it so let's make some protoberberine alkaloids with enantia chlorantha also known as yellow wood and then when i'm done i'm going to use um, in some reagents for testing for alkaloids and then test the alkaloid fraction to, be, to show you people that they are, they are actually alkaloids in what I have. So I am using my succulent extractor and I'm going to put some cutting wool to block um, the siphon tube, which is a thin tube you can see there, okay, so that the plant material will not go into the flask. And then I'm going to pack the um plant material into the part of the tube that is called a thimble so the plant material is not packed too loosely into the thimble okay you can compress it but don't over compress it now there is a little space at the top which you are going to have to put cutting wool so that you can prevent um some scattering okay so we want to prepare a 70 percent solution from a 96% ethanol stock okay I'm going to use um, a formula which we call C1V1 is equal to C2V2 which in which C is a concentration, in this case, percentage, while um, V is a volume. Okay, so that's what we have as V2, which is a volume of 96% ethanol that we are going to make up to 500 units to form 70 ethanol so what we need is the 70 percent ethanol so that we can do that extraction there we have it this is uh, 500 mils of 70 percent ethanol which was made from 96 percent ethanol they yeah, are what we call anti pump bumping granules and they have to be put inside the flask that you want to use. So we actually do the um, succulent extractor. So it, this fits into here and then you pour the solvent over the plant material that is inside the thin bowl um, solvent. We are going to see that the solvent will start percolating through the plant material gradually until it gets to here. Remember, we put um, cutting wool here to prevent it from going into the flask. Okay, so what you can see is that as I'm pouring the solvent in here, 
So we're going to pour the solvent in gradually until it completely wets it and it flows into the flask. So as you can see it happening here. So the principle of this is that when you have the solvent here, as it's boiling, it is going up and it's condensing and it's falling onto this as hot um, uh, solvent. So it's a continuous cycle of, you know, over and over again until you get to the point where it has exhaustively extracted the plant material that is here. And what you have left here is a more concentrated extract. Typically, this is going to um, extract for about um, three or four hours. So there you have it. It's ready to be put on a water bath. To extract and then um, what's going to happen is that this is the um, condenser that is going to be fitted on top of here and then water is going to be passed through here which will come out through here so I'm going to set it up at the water back over there but this is how the setup actually looks you can see And that's the extract. You can see that even when I poured some solvent, a lot of extract has already collected in the flask. But this is not enough. It's going to have to repeatedly recycle hot solvent passing through here until I have a more concentrated extract. And when that happens, we are going to see that this yellow um, tube is going to become lighter which means that it has taken out all the, all the um, substances that the um, solvent can take from this plant material. So here I have two distillations going on, but I'm going to set up the um, succulent extractor inside the water bath. So there are actually three jobs going on here, two distillations and one extraction. So the piping that allows water to flow through the condensers will have to be rearranged so that I can pass it through the three condensers, the two condensers of the distillation sets and the condenser that I placed on top of the extractor. So what I want to show you is the principle of succulent extraction. So basically I'm doing a lot of jobs here. I actually have two distillations I'm doing. These are not involved. Okay, these are separate jobs. But this is the succulent extractor. So you're going to see inside the um, flask is boiling. So it's boiling. So when it boils, uh, the steam goes up and enters this tube. And then it goes in here and then condenses on the condenser. Okay, inside the condenser. And it comes out, you can see the drops dropping onto the plant material. So when this is continuously happening, you know, there is a continuous extraction going on. So you can see this tube here. You know, when this is dropping, the hot solvent, the uh, condensed solvent is dropping onto the plant material. This will be rising and rising and rising. When it gets here, it will just flow all into the um, flask. So when you have this thing repeating itself over and over and over again, and it's going to get to a point where the and um, plant material has been exhaustively extracted. When that happens, that means that the extraction is over. And how you know that's over is that this will become almost clear, like water. So you know that they're taking out almost everything from it. So that will be the cold and um, yellow wood extract right there. So from this cold yellow wood extract, I'm going to um, bring out the alkaloids from it, which I am now going to incorporate into a product, which is a facial care product for people that have acne prone skin. Hi, so we are going to make Dragon Dogs reagent, which is used to detect alkaloids. So here we have glacial acetic acid, 
we have um, this not this moth um, nitrates here and we have potassium iodide moths this moth nitrates and potassium iodide so i'm going to add 40 ml of water to the bismuth nitrate and 10 ml of glacial acetic acid as this. But I want to, first of all, decant out the glacial acetic acid that I need. It's a little bit more than 10, so I'm going to measure 10 ml. 40 ml of water, paddle mass 40 ml. So that goes into the this much of nitrate and then what goes here is 20 mils so i'm going to pour this into the glacial acetic acid and the water into the this much of nitrates and then i'm going to take 20 mils and add to the potassium iodide Potassium iodide will be stirred until it has completely dissolved. And then this much of nitrate will be stirred until it completely dissolves as well. So when they are completely dissolved, the uh, this much uh, sub nitrate is going to go into this bottle that I labeled part A while the um, potassium iodide is going to go into this bottle I labeled part B. Now the reason why I'm separating these are the two parts of solvent of um, reagents that form dragon dove. But because when you mix them together they begin to degrade, it's better you put them separately and when you want to use them you mix them and dilute so i'm going to show you how to do that so when you want to use it to test for alcohol what you need to do is you take five mils of the each of them five mils of the, each of them and then add 20 mils of glacial acetic acid and then 80 mils of water and mix so you have your dragon dogs and reagents and in case anybody is interested in getting dragon dogs reagents I can prepare it for you for a fee. This is B, part B. I'm going to pour this into this amber plastic 100 ml bottle. So there we have part B, the dragon dog, pour it into the part B. And there we have it. So, so I'm going to show you how to now prepare dragon dove reagent from these two so to do now make the dragon dots i have 80 ml of water i have 20 ml of glacial acetic acid so i'm going to take 5 ml of part a part a 5 ml of part b and then mix it together inside a chemical flask and then we now have what we call the dragon dots reagent That's five mils of part A. Pour it into the then, then we have add five mils of part B. So what do you observe? It turns an orange color. Then we have add our water and glacial acetic acid. And there you have it, our ready to use Dragon Dove's reagent. Remember I said it is perishable, so it has to be put in an amber bottle, that is one. Two, if you want to store it for several months, you have to put it in the fridge. So the extraction is completed, so I will decant and then I'm now going to concentrate the extract down to 30 ml, which you can see. And prepare 5% hydrochloric acid, 5% HCl, 
that's hydrochloric acid so what we need what we do is to mix five mils with 95 mils of distilled water so it is a hydrochloric acid solution that we're going to add to the um, extract to bring out um, the um, alkaloids to separate out the alkaloids so that we can be able to um, you can be able to see the way the jogging off um, reagent identifies it so i'm going to measure out five mils of hydrochloric acid which i'm going to make up with 95 mils of water to form a 5 percent hydrochloric acid solution you have the 5 percent hydrochloric acid solution so i'm just going to pour it into a bottle so i'm going to take um the dilute acid and start adding it to some of the extracts so what you will notice is that it is getting cloudy so what is coming out as particles or precipitates are not the alkaloids the alkaloids are the ones that are going to be soluble in the acid so i'm going to filter out the particles and then what is the filtrate is what is going to be collected as the alkaloid fraction so after filtering i'm going to pour it into this little beaker and what we have in that beaker now is the alkaloid fraction so we can go ahead and test with the dragon doves reagent so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put the alkaloid fraction in two test tubes and add the dragon doves reagent in only one test tube and you will compare the results of what the two of them look like so you are going to see the clear difference between the two of them then i'm now going to add the dragon doves reagent into just one of the test tubes and you will see there will be a reaction and then i will bring the two test tubes together for you to look at them and see that there will be a difference so the dragon doves reagent is added in drops then you are going to see the difference between the two observe that the one that i added the dragon doves reagent to is orangish and is cloudier while the other one is still clear so that cloudiness are particles that were formed when the dragon doves reagent was added to it this is a positive test for our colloids. so i put it on a piece of white paper so you can appreciate the difference so after a few days, I'm going to allow the two of them to settle and you are going to see the one that they had, that had Dragon Dove added to it will have sediments that would have settled at the bottom and those are the precipitates. That is a positive test for alkaloids. So four days later, I, you know, I left it for the, both of them for four days so that you can observe the one that, the one on the right, which is the one we added Dragon Dove's reagent to the precipitates that had been formed have gone and settled at the bottom yes so you can observe that clearly on the right while on the left is the um uh test tube that we did not add dragon doves reagent to and if you look on the right you see that a lot of precipitate was formed which means we had a lot of um alkaloids in our sample and that shows you that it is an enriched alkaloid sample therefore a very very potent um, cosmetic additive for the toner so this proves that our product contains protoberberin alkaloids and you can use it and get efficacy from its use